Grade 7 Math, number 7.1D, Word Problems for One-Step Inequalities. Okay, so we've been studying inequalities, and we know they're math sentences that don't have an equal sign. Instead, they use these symbols, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, or not equal to. And the variables in an inequality can represent any number that makes the sentence true. So it could be a wide range of numbers that make it true. When writing an inequality for a word problem, we need to stay alert for clue words that may help us. So I have a list of phrases and what they mean. If x is more than 40 feet, then x is greater than 40. If x is less than 30 yards, then x is less than 30. If x is no more than 53, well, that means it can be 53, it just can't be more than it, right? So it's less than or equal to 53 can't be more. If x is no less than negative 6, then x is greater than or equal to negative 6. It just can't be less than negative 6. If x is equal to 50 or more, well, that tells us 50 or more. x is greater than or equal to 50. If x is at most 4 pounds, then that's the largest it could be, the most it can be. So it could be 4 pounds, or it could be less. x is less than or equal to 4. If x is not 27, then x is not equal to 27. So all we need to remember is to try to keep the variable on the left side to make it easier to solve. So here's our first problem. Emma is buying items on Amazon, and to qualify for free shipping, she must spend $50. So far, she has $30.25 worth of items in her cart. How much more can she spend to qualify for free shipping? So we think, she doesn't need to spend exactly $50 to get free shipping. She could spend more, right? She could spend $51. So far, she has $30.25. Well, the difference, plus any more, will qualify for the free shipping. So we need to find the difference between the two of these. We need to add $30.25 plus the missing amount to be $50 or more. Right? So it could be 50, and it could also be more than 50. So we're going to use a greater than or equal to sign. So $30.25 plus the amount she needs to spend is going to be greater than or equal to $50. Because it's a positive 30.25, we're going to subtract 30.25 from each side. That's going to create a zero pair here, and it's going to eliminate it, isn't it? So now, we subtract the 30.25 from this side and get $19.75. That means x has got to be greater than or equal to $19.75. So, we've solved it. She needs to spend $19.75 or more to get free shipping. To graph it, we put a dot on the $19.75 because it includes $19.75. And we draw an arrow showing the greater amount. She can spend $19.75 or more to qualify for the free shipping, okay? So just remember, as we said before in the other videos, if it's an open circle, that means it's not included, and if it's a filled-in circle, that means it's included. But this also means that every minute little fraction or decimal up to that number is included, okay? So maybe 15 is not included, but 14.99 is, and that's when we put the open circle. And also remember on the number line, if we're putting uh, our numbers and graphing to the left and it's heading towards the left, that means it's becoming less. And if our arrow is moving towards the right, that means it's becoming more. So even though our negative numbers on the left side of zero are getting larger, negative 14, negative 15, negative 16, it's still becoming less because we're getting more and more and more into the negatives, okay? All right, here's our next one. In a litter of seven kittens, each kitten weighs less than 3.5 ounces. Find all the possible values of the combined weights of the kittens. Well, it's really important that it says they weigh less than 3.5 ounces, okay? There's seven kittens. Each weighs less than the 3.5 ounces, not 3.5. So it could be 3.4999, right? Well, if we multiply the seven times the 3.5, we'll know the most they can weigh as long as it weighs less than that product, okay? It just can't be equal to it as long as it's less than that. So we multiply it and find out that 3.5 times 7 is 24.5. So our equation is going to be that W 
if we let w be the weight combined, has got to be less than 24.5. So on our number line, when we graph it, here's the 24.5, but we put an open circle to say that that's not included, but everything less than it is. We don't include the 24.5, but every possible number up to the 24.5 is included and can be a solution, even if it's 24.499999, just as long as it doesn't hit 0.5. So this tells us that 24.5 is not included, but every tiny little decimal or fraction up to it is included. Okay? All right. What we're going to be doing next in 7.2 is we're going to be talking about two-step inequalities and how to write them, how to solve them, and how to graph them. Okay? I hope to see you there. If you like my videos, please hit the like button. That's the only way I know if they're helping you. Okay? Bye.